musical production with original script and music brought to you by Quincical Productions. Please turn off all mobile devices or switch them to silent mode. Please also be reminded that food and drinks are prohibited in the theatre. Thank you for your understanding. Here we'd like to thank our youth partner, PAYM, and our sponsors, Marvin Tang, The Round One Photography, The Lee Foundation, the NTU Student Affairs Office, the NTU Alumni Affairs Office, as well as Hall 5's 26 JCRC for their continuous support, without which our performance would not be possible. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the land of Elifrost. The legends call us the children of Elafros, God of the Sun. We are all brothers in blood, one race descended from Elafros' sons. One inheriting the elder son's wisdom of nature, the other the younger son's knowledge of craft. But for centuries now we have warred against each other, blood spilling blood. My lord. What are you doing there, Dr. Rolf? I was reviewing the lay of the land, my lord. I, was I didn't ask about those, my friend. I was thinking of holding a feast tonight. What do you think would make a fine main course? But, my lord, we're at war. We should conserve our resources for the long run. Half a season is coming. There will be lots of food then. Fine. I might as well, since I'm already here. How are things in the area? All peaceful. My brother is leading a patrol team at the moment. He should be returning shortly. Hmm. Don't worry. We'll win. No matter what those crofties throw at us. So this is Soria, key supply route of the Naturians. I had expected it to be more heavily defended. Our scouts report that the bulk of the Naturian army is camped in the heart of Soria, with only lightly armed patrols stationed beyond their main campsite. King Ignis is there as well, so this is our best chance to kill him. But we must watch out for their general. Ignis is there, and I expect the main camp to be under heavy guard. We must proceed with caution. My lord, we are under attack. It's those craftians! No, but we're not ready to face them here. Swarms, men! We will crush all who stand in our way. Onward to war. This is our fight. Prepare for glory, for victory! My lord, that's hasty. Stay your hand. We do not have the numbers here. Now is not the time. Let's be wise. Ignis, I know you're there. Stop hiding. You cannot run from me. Explain all you came of love. Don't you have the pride of the king? Face me, Ignis, like a man. Raise my 
my sword and to the end. Fight this war do I see that day. Shall be the one whose name they know. Go search this land, you have no place. This land is mine. You have no right to say such things you on me. me. I am the king who will succeed. Seize oh, the day, you take this land. Raise my sword and to the end. Fight this war do I see that day. Fastier surrounded, my lord. Please retreat for now. Fine. Emma, Gerald, you two will lead the army back to the capital. Cover my retreat. To me, men, we shall defend our king's retreat. No, brother. Your place is with the king. I will defend the king's retreat. Very well. Brother, stay safe. I will. Let's go, Emma. To arms, men! <clears throat> Pathetic. Brother! You... You Croftian scum! Gerard, we must flee! Brother! That was surprisingly simple. Ignis is as careless as ever. Claire, seize the rest of the territory. Do not kill anyone who doesn't fight back. What is to be done with those who surrender? The usual. Disarm them all and confiscate your weapons. Take the soldiers as prisoners and place them under heavy guard, but leave the peasants be. Very well, sire. Sound the horns of victory! Soria is ours! <laughs> My lord. lord, what is the situation? Storia is lost. A trap. That's what it was. Set up an ambush and simply waited for us to walk right into it. There's no other explanation for why Storia would have been lost. My lord. Allow me to lead a counter-attack. Give me twenty. Nay, ten men. I'll storm their campsite and kill their king. And that general of theirs, Daniel. I will be the one to kill him. Peace, Gerard. The Craftians have far greater numbers than we ever could have expected. Our scouts report that the defences at Soria have been fortified. Such careless manoeuvres will only cost us heavily. Are you only satisfied when you squandered more lives along with your own, in pursuit of revenge? You think too little of me, Emma. I am a competent warrior. I'm confident of taking Blake's head before he knows it. Before he takes yours? General Daniel is the greater swordsman in Craftier. I know you're grieving for your brother. My brother has got nothing to do with this. My lord, Soria is key territory. We must reclaim it at all costs. My lord, may I suggest seeking out Lady Ilya's advice? With her powers of sight, she could foresee the next threat against our kingdom and allow us to respond more appropriately and perhaps then turn the tides. Hmm. Lady Ilya. Yes, that is an idea. Very well then. 
I am off to the shrine of Elephos. Emma, you're off. You two will lead the army back to the capital. Await my arrival. Yes, yes my lord. lord. My dear. My lord, you're back. I wasn't expecting you back for another week at least. Were you not supposed to be at Astoria? Things happened. We were caught off guard by Blake and his men. Astoria is now lost. Battles can be lost or won. But at least you're safe and sound. And that is all that matters. Really matters. I have traveled lands I have seen without you there. There were shadows only half seen. Above in the skies, I saw a lone star. Now that you are here, it's no longer alone. are shifting, a tides against us, beyond this darkness, our hopes lie with you. Legends has it, that there is some way to see We have been losing battles on all fronts, but we cannot afford to lose any more of our men. Use it, the eye of Elephos, to foresee where the next threat against our people will come from. My Lord, but you must know, it's not has been this there's not to claim his prize. us win this war. And as for any consequences that there may be, let me bear them all for the sake of Natulia. I can hardly refuse, my lord. Very well. I will carry out the ritual now. Please stay back.
I summon thee, powers from above and powers from beyond. Please let me see, glimpse the future we have not yet lived, and show me the dangers lurking beyond today. <laughs> of old, the son of Lord Elephros, Cairon. Cairon? That's impossible. It's just a myth. Do you not see anything about the Crockins? No, my lord. But this makes me uneasy. You have to seek peace with Blink, for the eye has spoken. Our greatest enemy is not the Crockins now. Now that's just pure foolishness, my dear. <laughs> Make peace with that man. He had the audacity to mock me in our last battle. Say no more of such foolish ideas, Ilya. There's the greatest threat against our kingdom. I'm not the Kraftkins. Then we have nothing to fear. Don't worry for me, my dear. I will be back before you know it. No, Ignis! He didn't listen. Again. He doesn't know that he's in danger. And if Karen were really to kill him, violent stars will fall, and the night will end. Your light may fade if this goes on. That cannot be. Fate must. But you don't know how my life would be without you here. Why do you fight for hope, for faith? Though the stars may fall, though nights may end, your light shall burn. against the threat of Karen. Men of Croftia, we have all fought long and hard, and today we have won a great victory. Sordia is ours, but let us take a moment to remember those who fought most valiantly of all, those who gave their lives for a greater cause to secure a future of peace for our family. A toast, men, for Kraftia. For Kraftia.
Now, let us feast to our heart's content. Sire, what is it, soldier? A lady Ilya of Naturia wishes to see you. Sire, I know of her. She heads in the Tyrian shrine and is high priestess. And is also Ignis's woman. Ignis's woman? This might prove interesting. Send her in. Yes, sire. My greetings, Lord Blake. I, Ilya of Naturia, have come in peace. A good evening to you as well, Lady Ilya. What brings you here into the heart of occupied Soria, Lady? Are you not at all afraid to stand before me? Fear is relative, my lord. I would be lying if I said I didn't fear you. But a duty far more important than my fear compels me tonight. <laughs> I know what Ignis sent you here for. The king of the south is even less of a man than I thought. If a simple loss has sent him scurrying behind his woman's skirts in fear. Return to your king and tell him to face me himself. If you wish your kingdom swept away on a tide of darkness, turn me away if you will. But be warned that this feast may be your very last. Be warned, lady. You come perilously close to insulting my king. Peace, Daniel. I see the rumors about your character were true. Do you truly have a death wish, threatening me in my own court? My intentions are pure, my lord, but I will not put up with your taunts. <laughs> you have spirit, lady. I appreciate that. Very well. Say what you will. A great evil is upon us, my lord. A period of darkness. I have seen it in a vision that Cairn, the traitorous son of the legends, will return to destroy this land. I don't understand. Cairn is nothing but mere legend. This is one of Ignis's ploys to hide his failures as a king behind a made up threat. As far as I'm concerned, Ignis is the only blight upon this land there is. That, the Eye of Elephros. The Eye? Yes, sire. The all-seeing eye. A holy relic passed down through generations in the Shrine of Elephros. Only the Shrine's high priestesses are gifted with the power to use it to see glimpses of the future. Hmm. We must end our war, even if only for now, to join hands in driving this threat away. I have heard that you are a king who cares for his people, Lord Blake. And that is why I choose to make my plea. More excuses. Sire, do you not find the timing of this prophecy a little too convenient? Indeed. I shall ponder on this overnight, lady. Guess you overnight too fast, if you will. I shall send men to prepare quarters for you. You are welcome to join us at the feast. No, thank you, my lord. I would prefer to retire to my own quarters instead. Very well. Claire? Escort her to a tent and provide her with guards. Yes, sire. This way, lady. So, Gerard, what do you think Lady Ila will advise? <laughs> Knowing her, probably something along the lines of suing for peace with Blake. As usual. We're wasting time here. Time in which you could be marching upon the Craftians. Gerard, a truce will save more lives in the long run and allow our people to rebuild in peace. Peace? Don't play the fool and allow yourself to be tricked by their facade. Tricked? I'm only thinking of what is best for our people. Just as you. My lord. What has the High Priestess seen? She speaks of ancient histories. 
half forgotten of Cain. The traitorous son? But they say he was destroyed by Lord Elifrost a thousand years ago. Mere legends. The man never existed, Emma. And neither did your precious sun god. My lord, did Lady Ilya see one of Blake's men in disguise, perhaps? Or someone playing on the legends to feed fear? You would do better not to mock the powers of the god, so Gerard. Just as you would do better not to misplace your faith in... Enough! Both of you. My lord, I for one would believe in the truth of Lady Ilya's visions. And if Cairn is the greatest threat against our kingdom, I will advise you sue for peace with the Craftians. Their strength will make them a much needed ally. Blasphemy! The Craftians are murderers, Emma. Would you ask our men to fight alongside the very same people who killed their sons, fathers, and brothers? They killed my brother before my very eyes. Viola Frost, enough! Both of you! You are my cousin and my best friend. And I chose both of you to be my generals so that you may help me win this war. Not argue like little children about how we do it. I am the king here, and I will be the one to decide what we do. brother was a soldier, he should have been prepared to die. Gerald's pain is natural, but I wasn't wrong. We both have powers, but she is respected for them, while I must hide away. How different my life could be. Peace? Karen, why should we care for such things? The Krakians are murderers. The justice must be brought upon them. Seeking 
Sire, I have brought the high priestess. Good work, Claire. Now, milady, a I son have... of Belafrost, son of traitor. It has been a thousand years of sleep. I have come to claim what is mine. Who are you, me? The mark of Belafrost's sin. Only one man has ever borne that mark. Sire, the Lady Elia speaks true. It's Karen. Dear Elafrost. Does the darkness I saw beginning craftier then? What do you want from us? Be gone! Son of Elfrost! Petty tricks! Even I can do that. Allow me, sire. I alone am enough to put an end to this little fool. Very well. But take care not to kill him. Claire, bring guards and take the stranger captain. Yes, sire. Lady Elia, leave. Keep up. Foolish human! You are no match for me! Uh, ah! Hey, watch out! Ah! Run! Run if you will! Nowhere in this land will you be safe from me! Be gone! All of you! Children of my brothers, you shall pay the price of your father's treachery with your blood. I was denied by their little tricks and their lives betrayed and sealed. I shall destroy what they built. Those years since I was seen, children of Elafrost, there seems to be a void in my mind. My past, only hatred remains. I know not but the pain, the seal of my brother's treachery. Just what is the way? Where should I go? Why am I here? And what should I do? How shall I begin? Can I end my pain? Sorrow and anger burns inside. I remember not of love, of ties. Oh, what was I? Who was I before? Just where should I go from here to end this pain? Just what is the way and where should I go? Why am I here? And what should I do? How shall I begin? 
to conquer, reclaim sorrow and anger, burn inside. Haka utem non est finis. This is not the last you'll see me. Haka utem non est finis. This is not the last you'll see me. Haka utem non est finis. This is not the last you'll see me. Haka utem non est finis. This is just the start of my revenge.